Spider-Man Web of Shadows is an action-adventure video game that was released in 2008. The game was developed by Shaba Games and published by Activision. It was released for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Microsoft Windows. Web of Shadows was a unique Spider-Man game due to its choice system that allowed you to change the story of the game. According to the game's website, the story begins when a deadly symbiote invasion devastates the streets of New York City, and only Spider-Man can seize control and bring salvation to the city. From the game's direction to Spider-Man's destiny, Spider-Man Web of Shadows puts control in the gamer's hands. Gamers decide when to switch between the agile red suit and formidable black suit, whether to ally with Marvel's honored heroes or ferocious villains, which of Spider-Man's abilities to upgrade and what missions to undertake in order to protect Manhattan from certain annihilation. The developer Shaba Games was founded in the year 1997 in San Francisco, California. It seems like the studio was founded by ex Crystal Dynamic employees and was only a nine person development team. The studio is best known for their work on the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 and Spider Man Web of Shadows. The developer would be bought by Activision in 2002, but today the developer Shaba Games are no more. They went defunct in 2009. The reception for Spider Man Web of Shadows at the time of release was pretty average, which was a surprise to me. On Metacritic, it received a 67 out of 100 for the PS3, a 52 out of 100 for the PC, and a 68 out of 100 for the Xbox 360. Some of the criticism it received was due to some of the gameplay mechanics. For example, IGN stated that the lock-on camera had a tendency to detach itself, making mid-air battles difficult. Others would criticize the story choices, saying how it was a good idea, but it was executed poorly. Some of the more positive critics said that the game was fun and the gameplay was fun enough to keep you engaged even if Web of Shadows didn't bring anything new to the table. Now for the sales of the game, Spider-Man Web of Shadows sold over 70,000 copies across both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, which if we're being honest, it kind of pales in comparison to some of the other Spider-Man games that we've covered here on Retro Chamber in the past. The gameplay of Spider-Man Web of Shadows is very similar to the Spider-Man games that came before it. However, this game is set in an open world environment, allowing for much greater movement. The story takes place in Manhattan, New York. The Web of Shadows Spider-Man can web swing, web zip, crawl walls, and use spider sense to identify and lock onto enemies. And in Web of Shadows, you can also traverse by foot and fight enemies and gangs on the ground. My personal experience with Spider-Man Web of Shadows is similar to many of my experiences with these awesome classic games. It is sadly non-existent. The only time that I ever played it was at a local GameStop where they had a little booth set up and I could play just for a while. I never actually owned the game and as a kid, I hated that. But even back then, I could only see clips of the game on YouTube or online. However, Web of Shadows always looked like the best game ever just because, again, it was a Spider-Man game and it had Venom and Wolverine on the cover, which I thought was mind-blowing when I was a kid. Like many of the early 2000s Spider-Man games, I always felt sad that I never got it, but at least now I can make up for lost time. And to wrap this up, the 2008 Spider-Man Web of Shadows seems to be universally loved and praised today. If you scroll through YouTube, you see how many fans love the game or even think that it's the best Spider-Man game ever made, which I believed was a given due to all the love and praise it's receiving nowadays. But according to many of the critics, the game wasn't all that great at the time that it released. And that came as a big shock to me. I wasn't expecting it to have less than stellar reviews, even average reviews. I'm not sure if the game has gotten better with age or if nostalgia is blinding, or maybe those critics just didn't know what they were talking about. If you have any suggestions on which games you would like to see featured in our next episode, please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.